Today, you're going to discover our USB charging AA battery, a ratchet wrench, a fingerprint padlock, and an electric massage gun for a cat work. We recently showed you a super battery that charges just by plugging a cable into it. A lot of you asked us to take it apart and see what's inside. We do feel sorry for it, but we value you more than the battery. Let's try to do it carefully and not spoil the battery. When we took off the plastic layer, it turned out that the battery has a solid case and you can't just take it apart easily. At the top part, we saw two spots where the parts were welded together. Apparently, we will have to cut the case with a drilling machine and remove those two welds as well. The main thing is not to touch anything unnecessary so that the battery does not explode. But Cookie is monitoring the process for safety, so we'll be fine. We take one part of the case off and you won't believe it. It seems that inside the battery, we see another battery and some kind of a control unit. The Chinese guys who made this are very smart, I'm shocked. It seems that this little battery is a lithium battery, the same type as in our smartphones. There is some kind of a microchip soldered on top, which probably controls the charging process. And above that, we can see a construction with a Type-C port for charging, and a circuit board which converts voltage, I suppose. How they managed to cram all of this in the size of a regular battery, I have no clue. But now we have to put it all back together and bring it to life. Since the case is cut open, it won't hold together anymore. So we decided to solder the parts using this paste solder that we ordered on AliExpress. We just put it on the place of the future connection and heat it up with a soldering iron. Already, in a couple of seconds, the paste heats up and turns into a drop, which should act as a connector of the metal parts. We need to act carefully, and at the same time quickly, so not to overheat the battery and spoil it. After cleaning it with abrasive sponge, we get a pretty nice connection like this. We won't be able to restore the film that covered the battery before, but we have something better, which is blue duct tape. It's been helping people out in all sorts of situations for decades, so it will help us now. We check it and it works, even though it looks like it came back from the war. Now we're going to solve the mystery of the wretched wrench, or rather its mechanism, that allows it to spin freely to one side and at the same time to get jammed when you spin the other. To disassemble it, we need to unscrew these two screws and remove the cover. Inside, we see an anvil with ridges all around the circumference, and two poles tensioned with springs. The second pole is inactive now, but the first one is. And when we rotate the anvil clockwise, it doesn't interfere with us in any way, but just slips over the ridges. But at the same time, it creates a resistance to rotation of the anvil in the other direction, which allows us to tighten the bolts. But if you need to unscrew a bolt, you use the switch to turn off the first pole and turn on the other one. Which does the same thing, but in the opposite direction. The design is simple and at the same time ingenious allowing us to work with bolts and nuts with much more convenience. Many years ago, we ordered this fingerprint padlock on AliExpress, but for some reason it broke. So now with no worries, we can take it apart and see what's inside and how it works. The lock was pretty good and we couldn't get the plastic plate with a knife. That's why we took a drill with a disc and decided to make a small indentation. Thanks to which, with the help of a screwdriver, we will be able to go deeper under the plate, lift it and unglue it. Of course, you can see some parts of the lock, but unfortunately, not all of them. So we have to remove the other plug, and this time it was metal. Here we had some trouble, because it didn't want to open, which is not surprising, because the lock should be well protected. But we still got under it, opened it, and just look what's inside. How beautifully and efficient everything is put together. 
It's a little battery, behind of which there's some pretty serious chips with a bunch of other stuff and some kind of a little processor. And above that, there's micro engine with a reducer and a hook that opens the lock. And you won't believe it, but after our disassembly, the lock works and opens again. This is some real magic. Let's see how the opening happens. After you put your finger on it, the chip powers the engine. It turns, pulls the latch which holds the bracket and the spring which pushes the same bracket from the other side. Pushes it and the lock opens. Of course, this lock is not designed to resist strong physical force. But I used it on a locker for several years and no one broke into it. And since the lock fixed itself, we're putting it back together and will continue to use it. A lot of people remember this electric massage gun that we bought to massage ourselves and primarily Cookie. Because in order to keep your kitty healthy and feel good, you need to massage it regularly. To find out what's inside a pusher, we need to take out a few screw caps and unscrew them with the red screwdriver. The gun is divided into two parts. There is a board on the handle near the trigger, and from that the wires go to the power part, which we need to disassemble next. It is interesting that all the connections and wires are coated with silicone, probably to prevent them from rattling and chafing during vibration. Behind the plug, in the handle itself, there was a battery, which turned out to be permanently glued there. And in the upper part there is a flat, but big enough and powerful engine, that sets the construction in motion. On the shaft of the engine there is a rod with bearings, which turns the rotating motion of the engine into the reciprocating motion of the pusher. In regular motion it's hard to see how this happens, but in slow motion everything is quite clear. So, massage your cats and write in the comments what else should we take apart and see how it works. Just don't suggest looking inside of Cookie, we definitely won't be doing that. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all our latest videos.